Hi, preschool friends, and hello to your families. I've really been missing you guys since being home during all of this COVID-19, and I'm hoping you guys are all being healthy and safe and spending lots of quality time with your families. I know I've been spending a lot of time with my daughter, and we've been working on some planting here at home. We have planted some beans and some carrots and lettuce and a few other things that we've got growing, and Ellie has really enjoyed helping with that. Um, on, along with that theme, I have a book to read you guys. It's called Up in the Garden and Down in the Dirt. It's a book by Kate Messner, and the art is done by Christopher Silas Neal. Up in the garden I stand and plan, my hands full of seeds and my head full of dreams. Spring sun shines down to melt the sleepy snow. Wind whistles through last year's plants and mud sucks at my rain boots. It's not quite time, Nana says. Down in the dirt, things need to dry out and warm up. What's down there, I ask? Down in the dirt is a whole busy world of earthworms and insects, digging and building and stirring up soil. They're already working down in the dirt. I'm sure you can see the caterpillar, the snail. Ellie and I actually found a snail the other day out in the parking lot, so they're out there now. Earthworms, we've seen a few of those. <clears throat> Some slugs, ladybugs and ants. Up in the garden, we snap brittle stalks, scoop rustly armfuls, and wheel away weeds for the chickens. While they squabble and scratch, we spread compost over the soil. So they're preparing the gardens, just like we would be doing if we were at daycare right now, with the gardens in our playground. Down in the dirt, pill bugs chew through last year's leaves. I give a gentle poke. They roll up tight and hide in plated suits of armor, roly-poly round. Up in the garden, it's time to plant. I trail a furrow with my finger and sprinkle seeds in a careful row. Give them a drink, Nana says. We pat them down to snuggle in the dark. Down in the dirt, a tomato hornworm rests, waiting for wings and the leaves where she'll lay her eggs. So looks like it's getting a little warmer out. Up in the garden, carrot plants sprout, pea blossoms bloom. Wasps are on the prowl and honeybees visit, legs loaded with pollen. Have you guys started any planting at home? Our carrots here haven't come up yet, but our bean plants are definitely doing well. And our cucumbers. Oh, it's getting into summer now. I weed and wilt in sun so strong even Nana looks for shade. Down in the dirt, earthworms tunnel deep. I'm jealous of their cool, damp, dark. Up in the garden, rain shower, Nana turns the hose on me. Eee! You can see a robin and her nest there with her babies. I hide behind the cucumber vines, but their leaves can't save me. I shiver and laugh, drenched in Nana's rain. Down in the dirt, water soaks deep. Roots drink it in, and the long-legged spider stilt walks over the streams. Up in the garden, there's so much to eat. Ladybugs feast on aphids. Nana crunches green beans. I bite a ripe tomato warm from the sun. Juice dribbles down my chin. Some of you may remember last year we had an edible garden as part of our garden in the playground, and a lot of the children really enjoyed that, having a different um, herbs and things that they could munch on. We also planted beans last year. We had a pumpkin. And I think maybe a squash growing. Down in the dirt, a robin's beak finds a cricket, a beetle, a grub. Slugs are scrumptious too. So I see some grasshoppers. 
up in the garden, we pick cukes and zucchini, harvesting into the dark. Bats swoop through the sunflowers, and I pluck June bugs from the basil until it's time for bed. Down in the dirt, skunks work the night shift. They snuffle and dig and gobble cutworms while I sleep. Up in the garden, a praying mantis wakes to hunt mosquitoes. Nana sprays away the aphids, and I'm after grasshoppers. Ready to swoosh, but... Snap! Someone else is faster. Down in the dirt, a smooth, shining garter snake crunches on supper. Oh, looks like we're getting a little later into the year here. Up in the garden, the wind grows cool. Pumpkins blush orange and sunflowers bow to September. Nana ties them together to build a house for reading. That's something else we've done before in the preschool yard is we've had some vines growing up. Um, some different trellises to, and uh, to make it possible to hide inside. Down in the dirt, an orb weaver spins her web, strand by silken strand. She'll munch on moths tonight. Up in the garden, colored leaves litter the squash vines, and we know the cold is coming. Hurry, hurry, and harvest. There's enough for the neighbors, too. <clears throat> Looks like we're getting into fall here. I see some squash, and they're harvesting. Down in the dirt, frantic ants gather what we leave behind. They're storing food for cooler days ahead. You can see them here at the bottom. <clears throat> Up in the garden, Frost draws lace on leftover leaves where secret egg, ha egg sacks hang. Waiting for the warmth to return, we say goodbye and spread the winter blankets. Down in the dirt, beetles burrow. Ants scurry home, earthworms curl tight in the dark. It's coming to the end of the gardening season where they're basically prepping for next year. When Grandpa calls us in for soup, an autumn moon is rising. Up in the garden, dry corn stalks tremble, and the wind smells like winter. But the long, ripe days of summer still rest in the garden beds. The ladybugs and bumblebees, earthworms and ants, are hunkered down hiding, biding their time. Definitely looks like fall now with all those leaves on the ground. Dreaming of sunshine and blossoms and sprouts, under the bare arms of trees and the blanketing snow, a whole new garden sleeps down in the dirt. And that's the whole book. Now, to go along with that, we saw some of the different creatures that were in the garden and under the dirt in this lovely book. I've got a challenge for you. If you do choose to do some seed planting like Julie has offered, so whether we're dropping items off to you or you're coming to pick them up, you're also going to get a copy of this backyard scavenger hunt included with your little package that you're going to be receiving and I would encourage you to get outside and enjoy this beautiful weather we've been having finally and see how many of these items that you can find. I took Ellie over to Jackson's Park today to work on this and there is a video to follow of that. Um, she had a lot of fun. You don't need, necessarily need to go to a park. You could maybe do this in your backyard. Uh, we live in an apartment building so it was just easier to go to a park but um, uh, the trails. We saw a couple things when we went for a walk today as well, on uh, even on the sidewalk. So just keep your eyes peeled and you can see a lot of these things pretty much anywhere. So this list has an ant, a brown leaf, a butterfly, a clover, a cloud, a purple flower, a pine cone, a ladybug, a bird, grass, a green leaf, a yellow flower, feather, rock, and sticks. 
Sorry if this appears backwards. Um, yeah, so I encourage you to try and see how many of these things you can find, and you might find some other things you might want to add here. Maybe in your particular yard there's some other different creatures or bugs out there that, that you would might find, like the snail Ellie and I found the other day. Um, yeah, I'm anxious to hear how many of these things you're able to find and what other additions you have to add to the list when you do a backyard scavenger hunt. Anyway, it was wonderful checking in with everyone. I hope, again, I hope everyone is safe. I really do look forward to seeing everyone again. Um, hopefully that will happen soon, but uh, we, I guess we'll see because I've, many of you know I'm expecting a baby in July, so hopefully I'll get back to seeing everyone before that. But uh, until then, have fun, stay safe, enjoy the time with your family, and learn lots at home. There's lots of things you can be doing at home. Teach your, teach your moms and dads some of the songs that we've done at daycare. Or do some ex different learning, cooking and baking. All those things are ways to learn at home too. Helping out with your brothers and sisters. I know you guys will all do well there. And again, I look, really look forward to seeing you soon, okay? Bye, everybody.